charisma. Noun, from the Greek meaning gift. A quality of extraordinary spiritual power attributed to a person capable of eliciting popular support in the direction of excellence. Pancho Gonzalez, 41 years old. Right, so do I. And also, he made a change back here on uh, the dubbing. I says I wouldn't understand these things even if I read it. Most of the first page is concerned with the money. The only thing I think that you might, we might want to talk about and get an understanding on is. Well, let me read it first. Yeah, okay, I... sure. Which one were you going to do in the second page? Yeah, yeah, this, in other words, an explanation of what we're really trying to do with this film, you know, and, and how, where we're going to be with you and when we'll be with you. And, you know, uh, like it says, uh, the actual filming will concern your activities both on and off the tennis court, including but not limited to your preparation for matches to be played. Take that one right there, for instance. Now, we don't want to want you to change the time that you would prepare. You know, whatever the we whatever you did, you know, don't change anything. Yeah. But we just would like to to see that what goes into the pre your preparation. Your for, preparation for a match, match you see. Mm -hmm. And so if Madeline and the kids yeah. are there, terrific. You know, if they're not, if you don't want them there, that's all right too. Whatever. But we don't want you to change anything for this. Uh, well, the only thing is, for example, like when I finish now, I'll probably just go up and shower and just completely relax. Which mm -hmm. means I can't relax if I have somebody no. in the room. No. All we would so choose. So this type of a thing would almost seem as though it should be done or you know filmed at a later time when it when it's Look, not as so important. If you wanted to do it, you'd be yeah. full matches. Like in other words, so, so but you want to you, you want to put this in the film. The you, relaxing part would do when you're after your film, right? I mean, off your matches. It, there's no way we're Ray, let me, let, me, let me explain that. In other words, we don't want to cut into the relaxation. All we, all we would do, we would shoot up to the point, we would have you come in, put your rackets down, if Madeline's there, talk to her. The yeah, first time you, you know, get, this, get this, ready, yeah, the this, first time you get ready... This is what I'm saying, right? I, I w once I leave here right now, I go up to the room, I'm in another world. Yeah, well, we're it, talking about one And minute. I'm referring to the fact of preparing for the match. If I walk into the to my room, I may strip down right away and take yeah. a shower. Then we're gone. 
Uh, what I'm talking about is literally 60 seconds of that particular event. Uh, yeah, 60 this, seconds this, after you walk in, this is we're the, gone. The, 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 uh, the, the spot that I would rather have done afterwards. I don't see that it makes any difference at all, and yet it, 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 it starts to, 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 to yeah, listen, get listen, to Dan, the point of I'm concerned about the right. match now, right. yeah, listen, and you're right. interfering with the match. Well, right. In other words, well, wait, let, Ray, let me, let me explain what I'm talking about now. Because I know what you're talking yeah. about. You want me going into the room and, and, and that, well, I can do that any time. Yeah. But for the moment, I'm, 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 you know, even sitting here discussing this is, is out of routine for me. Yeah. And, and Ray has to play in five minutes, and I have to play in an hour, and I yeah. get a shower, and, and all this. And I just feel as though that can be done, uh, uh, you know, at a later time. Uh, 60 it seconds is too much? Well, it, it's just the idea you know what I mean? of even talking about it right now, Dabney. Yeah. You know? But that's why we want to get it now, so we don't have to talk about these well, things in the future. Now, I'm going to go up to the room in one second. I'm going to sign this, and I'm going to go up yeah. to the room and just start get ready for my match. Right. You okay. know, you you know the, the first match, match is the right. start of a tournament. Right. Is always, right. a, always a tough <clears> The <throat> first match is... It's, 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 just a, it's, it's just what I'm telling you. This means nothing to me in comparison to the tournament. You see? So I'm not going to interfere with my life to make this successful, but it where it interferes with my tennis. This is what I told you before. And I'm not going to do it for anyone, Danny. I will do as much as I can in every respect, but uh, uh, this you'll have to understand because this is not my career. Yeah. Tennis is. And to me, winning this tournament is far more important than ten of these things. See? And it is... It, 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 well, it will be done, that, and would, I think that would interfere. If we, if we, I'm we telling you that it does, because I know what I'm like. So, in other words, on that thing, for instance, like this morning, you would not object to that? No, thing. no, yeah. no. I'm, I just, you know, it's just like... I don't like, like to surprise you, you know. No, I don't it's care like, if you surprise you know, me. I mean, I, I now, that I know, you know, now that I know, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to... Uh, I, if I walk out of the room, uh, it's not a matter of worrying about being surprised. I just will react more normally. When I went out the door and came back in, it was different. Good luck, man. Uh, uh, we'll see you out there. Okay, good. Yeah, good. The Howard Hughes Invitational that will be my last tournament. I'm looking forward to just staying home. Take your finger out of your mouth and right straight up to bed. Lleva la niña arriba. No, I want it tonight. I don't want to exact figures. I just want to come up with what I can come up with. At least 150,000. She just had five pups. Madeline bought her for my birthday present. Madeline and I have discussed retirement. I think that there are a hundred different things in life that uh, stimulate a person's competitive attitude so that I don't have to be dependent on, on tennis. Drag racing is a hobby of mine, you know, on a very amateur basis. I know now that how hard it is to get fit and to play well. Playing so many years that my game is grooved. All I have to do is be sure that I go into a, a main tournament uh, physically strong enough to last out the 10 days that it's going to take. Howard Hughes Open, that's, that sounds like a pretty big event any place, so I think it'll be a great title to win. And uh, I feel fit right now. I've been playing every day. Come 
on, Ray. Concentrate. I mean, on tennis. That's where the old guys have it over you young guys. We don't have to worry about anything but tennis. <laughs> Up and hit. All right. Run too fast for me this early in the morning. They won't cover the mic if that's all you want to do. You won't have it button. No. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, we will. Well, let's see. Do we need the mic? Uh, it just sounds really pressing it a little bit. Is this uh, too much? Uh, yeah, it is. As a matter of fact, because I'm conscious of doing this and being in that, and then it. I mean, you cut out a little more, you know, than the bargain for yeah. in regards to. Uh, Actually, you don't have to worry about it, you know, we put it on. But I do worry about it, you see. <laughs> it's easy for you to say, but I do worry about it. And this is the one thing that, when, you know, we do try to do the best that we can, but it's right. certainly not natural to have the, uh, the, the mic sitting there, and I know I'm going to be aware of it, and I'm going to be doing all of this. Yeah. And everything of it. When we come in, we're going to be either in here or in the patio. Well, I'll tell you what the problem is, Richard. Is this mic right here, it picks up everybody. And with the one that you have on, it would pick, you would be distinctly heard on everything you said, you know. And otherwise, it would be like a maze. Of, well, it's you know, hard to say up. no to you, uh, Dan, but these are the things that I'm telling you that is bad about this thing, you know. Yeah. It seems to be getting more involved and more involved about doing something that's uncomfortable. This would just go into your pocket. I know where it goes in. <laughs> No, that, that's not it. It just hooks on. That doesn't have to go around in that. It just goes down into the... Uh, well, show them how to do that. Mm -hmm. Let's see your This just goes... This would, yeah, this would go into here. We could stick, stick in your pocket. Uh, and this would drop down your trouser. Hi. Hi. Yeah, we can put this in your pocket. You just feed this down your leg, on your trousers, inside your trousers. <laughs> <laughs> you ask me if why, if and why, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not an actor. Now you know why. You've got to be a puppet. That, that ain't the worst of it, I'm clear. That's one of the parts of the box. Uh, I'm running with Stan, the right? Remember that? <laughs> Yeah, but he's the best, he was the best dog. He that's was the best dog. When you end up with a dog like that, it really, because I used to work with him and I'd have him sit and stay. Yeah. And then I'd walk away from him, I'd go all the way around the block. Yeah. I'd come in from behind him and he'd still be sitting there waiting for me. You know, he's like authority, you know. So you do that and the dog gets old. The same thing with the kids. Too. And they do it. That's why they become better. <laughs> <laughs> my big daddy retired for about a week, and already he's decided to go in no, it's not a matter of sacrifice. If in, in, in my case, in my case, the one to sacrifice will be Madeline. Because we're living, we are, no, we are living a way of life that I have a desire for living. No, See? no, you don't. Well, I must have, Sneaky. Why in the world would I want to play again today? Yeah, because you enjoy. Right. But why do you want to play? Because Kramer had no guts to play when he was a big man. Look, when Jack Kramer was the best in the world, did he play tournaments? You played. Okay, that is the only thing I like about. Him. Look, <laughs> look, look. Will you listen to? You no, I want to listen to. Will you listen you, to? You know, you you are so intelligent. You have such little sense in in, in straight outright thinking. The only thing you have left when you, everything else is gone for you is pride. I agree. So well, that's what I do. <laughs> If you can end up with a situation where you really are proud of it, yeah. what more do you want?
Takes a tennis player about 10 minutes to pack. Once he's all set. to have your family there, you're more relaxed and you're more comfortable, and in the long run, you'll win more matches, which will, in a sense, take care of the ex extra expense of, of your family being around. Reese, Come on, honey. In about five minutes, when we're going to leave, you're going to be gone someplace else. We're going to want you right here. Most people think that my brother Poncho had it very rough during his early time in his tennis career, but actually the roughest time he had was staying out of my father's way so that he could play tennis. And he played here. That's where he played most of the time when he was young. He started with Chuck Pate. Chuck was the one that originally called Richard Poncho. And when, when he came to the house one day looking for Poncho, and my mother said, there's no Ponchos living here. She says, well, you know, looking for Richard. She said, oh, well, there's a Richard here. I don't think she particularly cared for him. <laughs> you know? He was always in sports. He was an expert in marbles. <laughs> they had uh, their championships that they played, this public parks and all that jazz. Here's this strand. Uh, this is one of the movie houses that my brother and I used to go to. They'd show three westerns and, I don't know, maybe 15 cartoons that we'd spend all evening in there. Yeah, this is the uh, deal. And were, we hung a ride right there one time. The tracks used to run down here and he hung his bike up in there and I fell off and split my head in two sides. And he took off. He's afraid of what my father was going to do to him. 
he didn't have to do this homework. He'd get school for weeks on end and go and take his test or test test. He wouldn't have no problems with his studies. My father used to make him swear he was going to school, and the next day he wouldn't go to school. He'd lead, he'd lead him to class. You know. By the time he got home, they'd call him from school and say, Pach is out of school. He had an old 34 Ford he gave to me, and I started fooling around with it just I was about 16. And he'd come around and ask me what this is and what that is, and I didn't really know too much about it. I knew what a carburetor was, but he didn't know anything about them. He just got interested, and he just started reading books, and the first thing about this was about 1948. Next thing you know, he went out and had an engine built, took it out and started racing it. <laughs> Actually, you know, my dad moved so much, he was always moving to get to a little bit better neighborhood so we wouldn't get into trouble, really. He'd move into a place and he'd fix it up, paint it, sell it, get a little better place, fix it up, paint it, sell it. Western Airlines, flight 106 for Las Vegas, Nevada. Most people don't understand the reason behind this exploding and things. To him, tennis is like uh, being an artist. Playing the game and winning is not enough. It has to be perfect. You know, when I was playing on the Pro Tours, and, and I was the recognized champion, I was a villain. They were always for the other guy, the underdog. Yeah. And I used to sit, get out on the court, and I used to I used to build myself up to fight put the whole crowd. I'd cuss them all out, they'd cheer for the other guy, and I'd be, feel like I was fighting the whole crowd, and invariably try to end up taking it out on my opponent. And now I've changed positions being the old guy. They've uh, picked me up, and, and it helps. Yeah. It really helps. perfectionist off the court as he is on. I think there's that uh, intangible area, uh, you know, in uh, playing against Gonzalez that, uh, you know, you never know what's going to happen. I think he's probably the most incredible athlete in any form of sport that I've ever seen. 
don't know. I've always just looked up to the guy, but I don't know him personally. He doesn't particularly like to lose. The best thing to do is stay away from him for about two or three hours, and then he's fine. In 1954, I signed up some contracts, one with Poncho. And I think he should go on and, and do things in a, in a more of a business line instead of on that tennis court. Richard and I have been talking about his retirement for about 10 years now. You know, some days he'd be very nice, and other days he wouldn't be very nice at all. <laughs> he had a real fierce desire to become the top man. He's a mean, hungry guy. He really does everything to win. If he gets mad, like he, he plays better. You know, he's mean, he's hungry, and he wants to fight you. He's a fantastic competitor, isn't he? Richard is even competitive when he plays marbles with the children. He, he wants to win no matter whether he play for money or he's practicing. He certainly has a mind of his own. Next match on, aren't we? Yes. Well, you don't give us any problems. Well, on my left, Mr. Pancho Gonzalez. On my right, former Wimbledon champion, Mr. John Newcomb. and Andrea worked every morning before they left the room till about 12.30 or 1 o'clock. It doesn't work out too badly yeah. if you keep the children active with their, their classwork. But uh, we have to spend about two hours every day ourselves working on their homework. Theo has been warm. Theo has been warm. Hand. a few pages and then about five minutes you can get ready to go swimming, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay.
Tennis is like uh, being an artist. Playing the game and winning is not enough. It has to be perfect. Somebody there will call it.
match to Mr. Gonzalez. 6-4, 4-6. Just, you know, now you know why I want to quit. After the first three games, I thought I was going to get hit with a brick. It hit nearly every line in the book. You play a guy like Roswell and you know that he's good and you know that he can cut you to ribbons. If you're the least bit slow or you're not serving well, and even when you win, he still leaves you exhausted. You can never relax on any point until the, the umpires call the ball dead. Uh-huh. Because he scrambled on so many shots, and only through the fact that I'm aware of his scrambling that I never relax on any shot, I was able to always be ready for his recovery. Yeah. And his recovery was normally a good one. Well, I move well, yeah, but I still have the reach going for me, but he, yeah. he's so little that he starts moving across the court. Yeah. Yeah. i got to get my other racket strong now. All right, yeah, let's, uh, I, I, what are we going to do about that? Do you want me to well, I'm gonna have to get, get involved with that at all? Stuff, yeah, the stuff I have is not thick enough. It's just breaking too fast. This dry air must be drying it out completely. In a match like this, where feel is so important, to me, I don't know, maybe it's just in my own mind, but to me, feel against Roswell is more important than feel against any of the other players. And then to break my favorite racket, you know, right after the first set, yeah. you know, right at the point of where you're winning, but you're still, you know, just That's lucky to be ahead, and then you break your racket and boom, the whole thing exploded right in my face. Ash is the only one left of the top four. I think I'm more tired from tenseness because when I play muscles, Roswell, we've had such long matches all the time. Yeah. I'm usually worried for two reasons. If I beat him, I'm left too tired for the next day. If I don't beat him, well, then I'm not in the turn. They have me the sentimental favorite because of my age, which is a great feeling. Mm -hmm. As for Kenny, you know, being upset with the crowd, I, I was thinking about it too. And yet, he said it first. I was not aware of it because I was so concentrated on the match that I, I, I didn't give one single thought that they were being partial, although it was obvious they wanted me to win.
Gonzalez.
Well, you know, needless to say, this is the biggest surprise in the world to myself, because and Madam and I decided that uh, we were going to come up here, and then we decided we were going to take the children out of school and come up here as a family. I said, honey, to help me get through the first prize, or the first match, so we can make enough to support ourselves for the week we're going to be there. <laughs> but I know for a fact that I couldn't have done it without Madeline, and Christina, and Maurice, and Andrea. And I think the, the last tournament that we were together, the last big official tournament that we were together was in 1963, and everyone was asking us, well, how can you do it with all the children spinning through the rooms and everything? We managed to do it in 1963, and I can't help thinking that that's one of the big reasons why I was able to do it this week. But uh, as I said earlier, this is my last tournament. And uh, there's some who don't believe that, and all I can say is just wait and see. It's been a great honor for me to be invited here to play, and I will be happy to come back next year as a lineman. Thank you very much. Richard has decided to play tennis again, and it doesn't come as any surprise, and it doesn't come with any great joy, but it does make him happy, and that's the most important thing. Tennis has been a very big part of his life for 25 years now, and when he's happy, well, then we're all happy. How can you get that shot, Gino? And I'm not going to do it.